Hey guys, 731, um, 23, 320 in the morning. Uh, 320 in Hebrew means the end. Uh, 320 in the Greek means knowing, reading again. Okay, there are five sections. Um, sections one and two were given to me from the Holy Spirit, and they sound like they're my words, but they're not. And they are about God, and they're sort of like a Psalms style. Then sections three and four are from God. And then the fifth section is again from the Holy Spirit. It sort of sounds like Revelation or Psalms. And the sections are God, the pure, my beloved children, only hear me and holy. So number one, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Sing and make renown his name, for he is greatly to be praised. The God of David is my God. He is my protector and my healer. There is no God above my God. There is no Messiah above his son, Jesus Christ. He has made my grounds holy ground. Number two, he prepares his people for the extraordinary. His obedient are the outcasts to the normal man. They are too different. They are holy. They judge the culture by being pure within it, without one word. The Lord sees their ability to obey and it shines a light of truth in the darkness. They only find rest in his word. They only find peace in his praise. They want not of this world, but they crave their new world. The Lord loves the righteous and craves their presence. The Lord loathes the wicked, the evil, and those who steal his name, but do not live out his requests. They are a foul smell to his nose and a bitter taste to his tongue. The righteous please the Lord. They are like a sweet-smelling dessert and a rich, warm hug. They bring the Lord joy and happiness. When hearts are soon revealed, the obedient, apart from those who listen to man, those who are a pleasant smell, those who are obedient, these that fully trust the Lord will be watched over like a mother watches over her children. The radiance of the Lord will be their warmth and joy. Nothing shall harm or shake them. Having his presence is the reward. Having his provisions is a bonus. The Lord God Almighty, the creator of the universe, he is the one and only creator. He is the standard of holiness. He is the author of righteousness. He is the one who brings justice. He is the Lord God Almighty. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that his son Jesus is the king and that he is the only God. Every false religion, every false deception, every effort at elevating false gods, every one will fail and be brought low. Everyone who worships false gods or follows deception will come to nothing and stand before God in shame, admitting they were wrong and that my God is the true God. They will bow down and admit he is the one true God. Will they do it before it is too late? Or at the judgment seat? Time will tell. But every tongue will confess and every knee will bow. Number three. My righteous will shine like the stars. They will burn with my holiness. They will be my witnesses to the world of my holy nation. The world will be witness. The world will fear God. No harm shall befall my righteous. I will make all things work for their good. The righteous are my little children. They bring me joy. My righteous are a pleasing aroma. They seek me first and I add all benefits to them. I will fill them to overflowing with my gifts. There is no God like me. I am everlasting. I am grace my power unmatched. My beloved children await my voice. My beloved children pray with sincerity of heart. My beloved children wait with much patience to come to me. My beloved children are cheerful and do not complain or want their own will, only my will. My beloved children trust me with their whole heart. They thirst and are filled by my words. They hunger and are filled by my presence. They wait for me and time stands still as I am there. They love my presence. They rejoice to obey.
they have peace in my words. My little children, they love me and I love them. Nothing can snatch my little children from me. Nothing can separate us. The more challenges the deceiver throws at them, the more near they get to me. Number four, to my little children, look at me. The time is nearing. I send the full measure of my comforter, my Holy Spirit. For my children, the days are few until you receive my full measure of your infilling. Keep your gaze on me. The chaos that erupts. Do not be distracted. Pray to me. Keep me in your focus. Stay home. Do not listen to man. It will only be fear and deception. Recall that I am the Lord your God. And recall that when my son comes after war and after you must choose between me or the false Messiah, do not believe who others promote as Messiah. Recall his words will be similar to that of my son. Read the words in red to recall the truth. Jesus Christ, the one and only Messiah, will not have an earthly rule until after the great tribulation. My own will not be here for my wrath within the great tribulation. Any other who claims to be my son before the proper order, no matter how impressive the deception, do not follow them. Stay near to me and I will guide your every step. Stay in my word and you will not be deceived. Never give up on me or my one and only son, Jesus. Stay in the palm of my hand. Now is the time to stop listening to man. The deceptions are going to be many and they will be convincing to human logic. Those in my gaze will see that I provide and the deception is a falsehood. Decide now to stop listening to man. In several days, I will speak directly to you. You will have no need to listen to anyone else. The human uprising will be the chaos. Julie will be given directions to share with you. Then in three days time, after you pray passionately to hear from me, I will speak. When I speak, that is the day you no longer hear from man, not even my prophets for my true prophets will be with me. Anyone speaking after the third day is not from me. Only hear me, do not hear man, do not watch the news, do not read social media, do not request man's opinions, only hear me. Those that hear me will lead, be provided for and be protected. Those that do not hear me, repent, then find the ones that hear me. They will be obvious. They will be in peace and will be provided for. If you cannot find any of mine, but have repented, pray for three days to hear my voice. Today is the day to stop listening to man. Start now before the spirit of deception has a chance to sway you. Seek me first. Be in perfect peace. And then number five, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the first and the last. The beginning and the end. Mighty is his name. Holy, holy, holy. I hope this is encouraging. And just as a note, I have um, studied the language of um, God's language quite a lot. And I think that for those of you that are going to be here for that three days of prayer. It would be very important to consider that the day I speak, that day does not, the next day does not start for the Hebrew thinking until the night that I'm gone, but you wouldn't know that I'm gone, right? So there's three days, one, two, three. But he says, then I speak. So it might be the fourth day. So don't freak out if on the third day, you haven't heard from God because the way things are counted, it might be the fourth day. Okay. So three to four days, somewhere in that time period, you should be hearing from the Lord. And I hope you find that as an encouragement and I'll see you next time.